Hello, today we're going to talk about how to discover God's purpose for your life. <laughs> I got to tell you, when you figure this out, ah, it changes the world for you. It changes life for you because you're filled with that peace, that happiness. I think there's a movie quote, let's see, what is it? Um, in Field of Dreams, they says the, the wind never blows so cold again. Once you have that inside of you, it makes all the difference. So glad to have you join me today. Hi, and thanks for joining me. Super excited to be able to share our content today. Now, normally, and, and actually, I gotta just tell you, this is what the show's about. So I am, my name is Scott Wilhite, and I am your Record Yourself Video Coach. What that means is I help you get your message out there. I help you get your voice out there. And the best, and the, well, I don't know if it's the best, but it's the easiest way to do this and, and, and prolifically so that you can have lots of your message out there is to publish through self-recorded video. Happy to help you do that. And normally, you know, on the show, we talk about how to do lighting, how to set up a studio, uh, how to do good audio, things like that. But today we're gonna talk about the things that you need to keep you going. Because, you know, having your why figured out is so important. Having that clarity, uh, you're going to need that. Okay, so let me jump into it. So years ago, I was walking through a museum, and I remember seeing on the wall this, uh, this quote from Mark Twain that said, The two most important days of your life are the day you're born and the day you find out why. <laughs> and at that time, I was struggling to find out my why. What was I here for? Why, why did God put me here? And for me, it was a very, it was a spiritual void that was missing in my life. I didn't have a great connection with him, and I certainly didn't know why I was here and why I was going through the struggles that, that I was having. And when I discovered my personal why, when I discovered my purpose, oh my goodness, it has just opened the world to me. So I want to share with you a few things that hopefully will help you along your journey. Now, I got to tell you, I, I am not a know-it-all. <laughs> you know, I certainly don't have all wisdom or anything like that. I'm just a guy that's along the path that you are probably walking right now, and maybe I'm just a half a mile ahead. You know, and so I just want to share with you some things that I've learned that hopefully will help you out. So, um, First of all, let me tell you a little bit about my, my decade of darkness is what I call it. It was, it was 10 years of my life where I was so frustrated. I was so, so angry inside. I, I, I felt, you know, my life was missing something and I didn't know what. I kind of felt like, like a goldfish that had hopped out of its, you know, hop, hopped out of its bowl and was jumping around on the white countertop there gasping for its air. And the air that I needed to breathe was, breathe was to have purpose, to have meaning, to be able to be living the life that I thought God wanted me to, have, to live. And uh, it was such a struggle to not know what that was and to just feel that emptiness inside. So when I discovered a few things, and I, I paid attention to those because I wanted to help the guy behind me. <laughs> I wanted to help those that are on the same path. So let me share with you the biggest secret, the biggest thing that made a difference in my life in this whole journey, and that is journaling. Okay, journaling in just in uh, in general is amazing. You know, doing morning journaling. Uh, you know. There are a whole bunch of journal prompts. Anyway, I, I, <laughs> there's so much to talk about on this. Um, journaling can change your life. I did an app called Feed Your Happy, and in it has all of these different journal prompts. If you want to use that, it's for the Mac, or it's for the iPhone, sorry. Um, you can find that at the Apple Store, the App Store, whatever. Sorry, but the, the biggest thing, like journaling in general was amazing, but the single biggest thing was a journaling practice that I would do every single night. Uh, I called it my Hand of the Lord journal. Let me show it to you. Actually, this is just one of many because what happened was I started to do this every single night and it changed my life. So here's how it started. I heard this guy talk about how this process had helped him. And what he did was he... He said he wouldn't go to bed. He committed to himself that he wouldn't go to bed, wouldn't go to sleep until he had thought and reflected back on the day and looked to see if he could see God's hand in his life. Now, Albert Einstein said, coincidence is God's way of remaining anonymous. 
You know, so a lot of times it's looking back at those strange coincidences that happen. And as we train ourselves, we start to see God's hand in, his, in our lives, or if not his hand, at least his fingerprints all over things. Well, at that time, my life was dark. I was struggling. I was having a really hard time internally. Um, but I started to do that. Uh, I, I decided I was going to commit to it. And I said I wouldn't go to bed until I... I reflected back on the day, saw God's hand in my life, and wrote in my journal. Well, I remember that I had a few, you know, <laughs> anyway, I had a few good days that started me out. And then after that, I slipped back into my darkness. But I had committed to myself that I was going to do this, and I stuck with that. And so I'd reflect back on the day, and even if I couldn't see his hand in my life, um, I, just, I would read those very first few entries where I had, and then I would write read today. And I remember I went through like a page and a half, read today, read today, read today, read today. But then after that, I started to see things happening. I started to see strange coincidences. I started to see what I called tender mercies. I started to receive answers to my prayers. And I would write those down, and it was just really short. It was maybe a couple of sentences or something, and it would help me remember the whole, the whole experience. And then I would slip into days when I couldn't uh, see that, and so I'd write read today, but I'd go back and I'd review those things over and over again, those entries where I had seen God's hand in my life, and oh my gosh, it changed my life. I started to recognize my purpose, my mission. I started to realize that he was there for me always. And I, I want to share one more, I don't know, secret, one more tidbit that came out of this. And that was I was watching a movie one time. And this is a quote that kind of came from the movie and kind of I reworked it to, uh, to be something that works for me. But it was all these amazing miracles that happened along the journey. And then this guy gets to this really big problem and he doesn't think he can overcome it, but he stops and he looks back at all of the great things that happened. And he said, in essence, after all the miracles I've seen, it just doesn't make sense to doubt anymore. <laughs> and it was that faith that helped him get over this obstacle that seemed insurmountable at the time. That's what you have the opportunity to do. If you want to discover God's purpose for your life, start to recognize his hand, start to recognize his pattern, and start to pay attention to those and, and appreciate them. You know, they say what we appreciate grows. You know, I mean, if you think about money, how it appreciates, but what we treasure, what we save and savor, that's what's going to grow. So if you want to make a big difference in your life, Keep a hand of the Lord journal and start to pay attention to those patterns and it'll change your life. And then, and here's the great part, and then when you figure that out and you start to see his hand in your life, you're going to see ways that you can help other people. And maybe the way that you can help other people is to record yourself on video. If that's the case, I am so happy to help you do that. I'm happy to help you share your voice, share the wisdom, the insights that you've gained, because we need more heart-centered entrepreneurs, more uh, people that want to make a difference in the world and, and create this greater place to live. So happy to help you with that. Stick with me on the journey. If this is something that you like, make sure you like and subscribe. And uh, we got more great content like this. If you're a heart-centered person who wants to make a difference in the world, ah, video is the way to do it. I'm happy to help you get started. Click right here to take my quick start challenge and you can get started today.